In today's video, it's happy days in Harlech. We conquer the castle, get Barmy on the beach and dabble with the drone. Finish that off with a scintillating sunset and it's another top day out in Wales. Hello and welcome to Postcard and a Pint. I'm Rachel. I'm Wills. And we're on our way to Harlech. Let's take a look. But firstly, as with any journey over 10 minutes, Wills needs a wee. Better lad? Right, back on our way. And there it is in all its glory. And it's not too expensive to park either. You enter the castle via this building. It houses the gift shop, cafe, ticket office, £8.30 per person if you're interested, and this immersive history of the castle. Take a look. Look at that, a cinema all to myself. Now let's get into the castle. You enter the castle over this modern drawbridge. The views are spectacular. It's going to be a great day. In local mythology, the site of Harlech Castle is associated with the legend of Branwen, a Welsh princess. But there is no evidence of a Welsh fortification until guess who came along? Harlech Castle was built between 1282 and 1289 and is one of Edward I's Iron Ring of Castles in North Wales. Yes, Edward, I want Wales to be England the first invaded and stuck castles everywhere. This one is nice though. What have you found now, chaps? This used to be the Great Hall, the heartbeat of the castle. So they used to scuff all the food, and below here is a cellar. Don't know if you can go in it or not, but it's where they used to store the wine and the mead. Mm. And you two are on dry January, so no wine or mead for you. Ah, oh, the views from up here are incredible. This castle was brilliant because it was always served by the sea, because back in Eddie's day, in the 12 and 1300s, the sea came all the way to the base of the rock so the ships could pull up at the back and serve the castle. It's crazy to think that the sea once covered all of that. Right, on to more castle exploring. The castle is built from local grey-green sandstone with large regular blocks used for the towers. A softer yellow sandstone is used for the decorative work in the castle, possibly quarried from Egrin Abbey, near Wills' favourite place, Barmouth. The castle rests upon part of the Harlech Dome, a spur of rock almost 200 feet high. It's very impressive. Can we go up there, please? It's OK, I'll keep him on a tight leash. When you wander into the tower and look up and see where the different floors of the castle used to be, you get such a feeling of history. How we wish we could travel back in time and see this castle living and breathing in the past. Everyone is catered for, even God. This castle has seen many a siege and battle. In 1400, a revolt broke out against English rule, led by Owen Glyndor. By 1403, only a handful of castles still stood against the rebels, Harlech being one of them. But it was under-equipped and understaffed to withstand a siege. In 1404, it fell to Glyndor and became his residence. In 1408, the castle was under siege once again, finally falling to the English in 1409. Well, she's glad it's Welsh once again. The castle was involved in many more battles throughout time, and as you climb up to the topmost part, you see what an incredible position it is in. It's breathtaking. Because the castle is a World UNESCO heritage site, they can't put up safety barriers. The walls are fine, but they come up to, I say, about mid-thigh height in places. It doesn't feel the safest at all times. So if you don't have the head for heights, possibly not for you. But if you do, please go up and explore. The views are definitely postcard and a pint recommended. <sighs> it's amazing. It certainly is. This is such an amazing castle. One thing I'll say about this castle is it's probably one of the smaller ones of the mighty big castles, but it's probably got the best outlook and best view of any of them. The views over Snowdonia, the bay, uh, Shell Island are fantastic. Check it out. Of 
course we love all of North Wales, but there's something absolutely magical about this stretch of coastline. In the late 18th and 19th century, the picturesque ruins of Harlech Castle began to attract prominent artists, such as John Cotman, Paul Sandby and J.M.W. Turner. And you can see why. In 1986, Edwards Castles in Wales were together designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. He may have been English, but he built a mighty fine castle. This room is pretty amazing. These stone cannonballs are said to date back to the siege of Harlech Castle in 1409. Like all of Cadu sites, there are really interesting information boards all around the castle. These tell a detailed history and give you an insight into what life would have been like back in its heyday. If only walls could talk, the stories they would tell. Or maybe these would just say, ow, as they bear many bullet holes. OK, we get it, you're hungry now. Thanks, Harlech Castle, that was brilliant. Now, this was a find. Directly across from the castle car park, we found the Wilderness Cafe. It was a gift shop, a wool shop, a post office and a cafe. An eclectic mix. But it does a cracking homemade tomato soup. And an excellent brie and cranberry sandwich. Is there any need for that amount of cream and marshmallows? The Wilderness Cafe, where you can buy a bath bomb, knit a jumper, post it to Auntie Beryl in Australia, all while enjoying a homemade tomato soup. They're onto something here. We then took a little stroll around Harlech. We gave that one a miss. The old town around the castle is really quaint and we imagine buzzing in the summer. Now we do like a deli and this one had our name on it. Well, it had Harlech grocery on it, but it sold Snowdonia cheese, so we were happy. Nope, no lager today or for the foreseeable, but we'll take some chutney and crackers for his tea. Jeez, there'd be nothing left. There are lots of independent cafes and shops, as well as beautiful old stone houses. It's so picturesque. We really must come back in summer when it's open. We enjoyed a short walk through the town and into a local park area. There's a beautiful old stone church alongside it that we must explore one day. The walk in the park was gorgeous, and for January, the weather was pretty good. If anyone can give us any history on the Old Town Washery, we'd be most grateful. But back to the car we go. Past this statue, the two kings, showing a representation from the Mabinogion of Bendy Guidefram, carrying the body of his nephew Gwern. Imposing, but armless. Sorry. But time to relocate and move the car to the beach. This car park was free today and the poor land and golf course nearby did look a bit flooded. We'll be keeping our shoes firmly on today, but we definitely want to share this beach with you. We've come for a winter's walk on the beach. Harlech has got one of the best beaches going. It's a bit of a trek from the car park where you leave your car, but well worth it. Let's have a look. I'm being dramatic as it's only 400 metres away, but walking on sand is kind of hard. So in our book, that's definitely a trek. And it's a trek that's well worth it. It's a four mile beach, it's absolutely stunning and it's nearly empty today. We're walking off our dinner. We've decided we're gonna be healthy. Yep, dry January, January and all that. Dry January and all that. Hopefully. <laughs> we're gonna be slimmer, better versions of ourselves Ooh, this yeah. year. We say that every year. We we're gonna do it this year. So we'll show you a bit more of the beach now. Enjoy. We got the drone up for the first time in ages. Enjoy these spectacular views.
January may be a cold and depressing month, but on days like today, with the sun in the sky and a beach to yourself, there's no place we'd rather be. Where to next? Well, we're about 35 minutes away from sunset and we're about 20 minutes away from Barmouth. So we're going to head to Barmouth, even though it's a bit further for us to come home. And we're going to see the sunset in Barmouth. How YouTube's that? Very YouTube. And it looks like we've made it just in time. I remember these waltzes from last summer. Ah! Do check out our Barmouth video to see this amazing seaside town at the height of summer. We'll link it at the end. But for now, it's sunset from the dunes. We feel so lucky to live not too far away from this beautiful place and to be able to just come and sit and watch. What a top day out this has been. Well, we got here and just in time for sunset. We managed to get a quick drink. We've come into the dunes and we've just seen an absolutely lovely sunset. Nice, wasn't it? Yeah, I've never been to Barmouth this time of year, but I tell you what, it's still buzzing. It's lovely. It is still yeah. buzzing. Harlech, no, it's open, but it is yeah. bank holiday. Harlech was very, very quiet. You mm. can imagine how gorgeous it is in the summer, all holiday cottages and cute little cafes. No pub. No pub. We didn't find Rubbish. a pub anywhere. No, we weren't looking. We're not, not drinking. <laughs> no, but it was just an observation. Yeah. Harlech Castle, what do you think? Oh, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. We've been there before, but um, no, it was really good. It was really, good. really, really good. And I have to say, it looks so impressive mm. when you drive up to it. Just Especially from out. the other side. Yeah, not, the, not, not from, from the, the beach, beach side, side yeah. but from the other side when it's just sticking out. It looks absolutely amazing. It does. So, uh, yeah. Well, you... I'd like doing the drone on the beach. Yes, the drone on that the beach was, was amazing. We haven't played with the drone for ages, ages. since Halloween, so yeah. that was really nice to have No idea how the footage came out, yeah. but hopefully. And for once, we're out on location doing mm. our cheers. So if you would like this video... It'd be lovely if you hear that one. Yeah, leave us a comment. Hopefully it's been a bit more of a gentle video today. We've been so crazy over mm. Christmas. So I hope you've enjoyed this more laid-back, chatty style of video. So as we say, in postcard and a pint... Cheers to the good times! What's green and has wheels? I don't know. Grass! Eh? I lied about the wheels. Oh.